Well, you, you paged? You better be calling from the grave because death is the only excuse so except for being this late. I am so sorry. You know what? I am on my way, though. I'm right. I'm on my way. No, 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 no. Never mind. The client's ready to split. No! Don't you dare let him leave. I am coming. I, I'm right there. I'm, I'm on my way. Goodbye. <sighs> Who are you yelling about? Oh, um... Our, our new choreographer, he's, he's this great guy. He's so talented, but he's so persnickety. You know, he hates when you're late, so I, I gotta go. I understand. Just wear this. And, um, when you're ready to tell me what you're really up to, I'll be happy to listen. Oh, Doc, you're just always so suspicious of me. See, my future wife is leaving the house wearing a garter belt and a lab coat. You're right. I think it's just me. Don't be ridiculous. I, I, I have my whole change of clothes in here after I'm done with my number. I'm going to put that back on and come right home. As long as it's not another man. I, I just don't want you running off and getting married without me again. Another man. Oh, Doc, now you're being really ridiculous. I am addicted to you. And there ain't no cure. I gotta go. Come on, Doc. Bye. <laughs> But you bring someone in? No, we handled it at the scene. Do you hear any more from Gary? No. You know, maybe there's something I can do to help the guy. He seems to be going through a rough patch. You know what, Frank? He's not another one of your pet projects, all right? You can't go around trying to rescue everyone. Look at the uniform, Joe. That's my job. But does it have to be your life? You've wanted to save everyone ever since Dad, Frank. <laughs> Dad? What the hell does he have to do with this? Dad drank himself into the grave. And all the pleading and crying that you did and I did and Mom did didn't make a difference. It's not your fault, it's not my fault, and it's not Mom's fault. Dad never wanted to be so. How do you know that? You think anyone wants to be an addict? You know what? He did us a favor by destroying his life. We saw what that was like, and we were able to choose another way. If, if that's the way that you need to look at it, fine. No, you know what, Frank? It's the healthy way to look at it. I don't drink, I don't do drugs, and neither do you. That doesn't mean it couldn't happen. Right. The day I see you doing drugs is the day I put a gun to my head. Dr. Before I give you another cheese -o, I want to ask you something. I'll do anything for cheese -os. You were Julie's roommate when you first started the internship program. Mm -hmm. How did that work out? We're not living together anymore. You figure it out. What was your first impression of her? Sweet. Candy corn sweet. But in a screwy sort of way. A screwy? What do you mean? All right. She told me that she grew up in a huge Catholic family. Lots of brothers and sisters and no money. And then one day, I got a look at her wardrobe. Yeah? And we're talking money, honey. Literally. Lots of money. So she lied about everything, including who she was. What do you think of her now? I think that she's repressed. I think she's wound up so tight, she can't see tomorrow. Have you ever seen her really, really lose her temper? Once I did. It was when she found out that Chris Ramsey slept with her mother then I would lose my temper, too. Lark is the only person that really gets under her skin. Do I detect a shadow of a doubt, Counselor? She's my client. I'm not at liberty to discuss anything. Okay, well then let me put it to you another way. Am I off the hook as a suspect? You were never on the hook. Oh, come on. For a lawyer, you're a lousy liar. I think that I had a little bit of reason to uh, think that you might have killed Devlin. Oh, all right, no. Because to be fair, when I heard that Devlin was dead, the only thing I could think about is that you were last seen running off to strangle the guy for hitting me. Hello. Be right down there. Goodbye. That doesn't sound good. Julie is starting to be more of a client than I actually bargained for. Frank, you look awful. Are you all right? Uh, yeah, something I ate. 
Are you going to be working in the lab tonight? No, actually, I won't be for a while. Any new problems? No, we're just uh, testing the hormone levels in the animals since they started turning aggressive. It must be disappointing to have such negative side effects on a drug that was so promising. Well, I'll tell you what, I have not given up hope yet. After we get the test results from this one, we're going to go back and rework the whole formula. But you're still working with the old formula. Yeah, yeah, we have, I guess, uh, one batch left. You know, I, I, I've been meaning to ask. I, I lost my sunglasses. I've been looking everywhere. I, I think I, I left them in the lab. You, could I use your keys and run over and take a look? Since we found some of the formula missing, we put about a billion locks on the door. I'm carrying around a pound of keys. There you go. Hey, Joe. Hey, what's wrong? Do you remember that guy, Gary, I told you about from high school? Yeah? Well, they just found him dead. In the men's room upstairs, he OD'd. How'd it happen? Apparently, he broke into the supply cabinet, stole drugs, and then went to the bathroom and shot up. Frank, I know we lost track of Gary. I know you guys were friends. I'm sorry. I have to get out of here. Hey, what is the big idea here? What kind of service is this? I go all the way over there. I am dressed like this, and the guy is completely gone. Well, what would you expect? This guy's one of our best customers. He's not paying, so you keep him waiting. Oh, right. Right. Uh, look, I'm really sorry. Okay, okay. Uh, you know what? Maybe you could just reschedule, because I thought he sounded like a very nice man. So, you want me to set you up another date? Yeah, 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 yeah. Forget it. I'm throwing you out on your ear. You're giving this company a bad name. Oh, no, 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 no. One just more chance, just please. please. One... <sighs> what? Oh, come on. No, 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 sweetheart. Don't do this to me. Fine. Fine. You want another chance? Yeah, yeah, I, I will take a chance, please. Okay. Have a cancellation. Take this gig. You keep your job. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, let me see. Yeah, I want you to wear this wig. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, you know, I have a, a really pretty pink little dress that would look very nice with this wig. No, 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 no. The wig, nothing else. What? You get into the cake, you pop out of the cake. Simple. You gotta be kidding, right? I mean, who do they think I'm gonna be? Lady Godiva or something? Exactly. Hello, you paid? <laughs> uh, no, I think you have the wrong number. There is no Angela D. Ladd here. Sure. movements during the pediatric circus. You mean my whereabouts when Grace was murdered? Yeah, something like that. Uh, you were supposed to work the circus. Why didn't you? Well, I, I did work the circus, but uh, I overheard two people saying I killed my father, so I went into the on-call room to be alone. How did you get there? I took the stairs. What's going on? Well... I was just down at the police station. They have an eyewitness to Grace's murder. The police sketch artist drew this. Grace was murdered by a clown. <laughs> <laughs> 